Well, nothing screams Christmas more than a delicious, nicely decorated Christmas cookie, and Lord knows I love it. Here to help us excel, and we use that word, we'll see how this all works out this morning, Jessica Milo of Sugar Rush Cookie Company. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having I me. This, I was looking at the cookies that you have made already mm -hmm. in the box that you sell. They're beautifully done. And Thank you got you. started a pretty funny way, right? Yeah, I just started last holiday season watching all the cookie decorating shows with my <laughs> four kids at home, and they wanted to decorate them. So so we tried it and I, I enjoyed it. So after they went to school the next day, I, I pulled everything out and did it on my own. And I just, I love it. It was just so much fun. And, and you said also therapeutic for you too, right? Uh, yeah, right, right. yeah, I did. I felt like it was relaxing. Like sure. it was this time where I got to be creative and I'm not typically a creative person, but I found my area where I am All right, creative. well, we're gonna see if, uh, if, if I'm like one of your yeah. kids and how I do. So, That's okay. So what are the first things that we need to do? Are these just regular sugar cookies? These are just regular sugar cookies. You can either buy like a packet to get started if you wanted to do it at home, or right. you can find any recipe online and start from scratch. Okay. Um, so it's pretty easy. You just want to have a cutout sugar cookie mm -hmm. base. Any cookie cutter that you that can find, work. anything, right. anything that you want will work. So once you get these rolled out, you're going to make your royal icing. And it you may actually make your own icing. I do. I make everything okay. from scratch, right. including my cookies. Got everything it. is from scratch. So you, for your royal icing, you can buy all of this stuff at any craft store. Mm -hmm. You need meringue powder, you need powdered sugar, and you need some corn syrup. That helps give it like a nice shine. Got it. Um, and then you just mix it all up. You add half a cup of water, and then you'll get like a really thick consistency. Mm -hmm. That thick consistency is what you're going to use, and we'll do it on the outside of your cookie. That is your border of the cookie. And then... See, that's the part that scares me. Yeah, well, that's okay. I did it for right, you. Okay. All and right. Yes, yeah, so then the then you water it down to get that flood consistency. To get the right consistency. So right. we're going to start with this short one, and we're going to start with the tray. The shortcut one, this is our outline. Yep. This is that thick consistency. So when you start, you want to touch the tray, but lift your hand off of it and kind of allow that icing to fall, almost like a shoestring just landing on the border. And you just want to go all the way around the cookie. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a lefty, so it kind of makes it oh, a yeah, that, little more. That does. I also have a control room full of people watching everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, okay, so we're doing it like this, just going around. Perfect. Making, yeah, making no, you've got outline. it. Yep, you've got it. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's, so this is kind of like your, the edging for it, Yeah, right? it's like okay. a dam. Got like, it. It, it's, it's going to hold the flood in. I must tell you. That, See, that you've got it. That is actually not very bad. It's not. It's not, and that was your first try. So now you're going to take the longer bag of greens, mm -hmm. and you're going to, this is your flood. You're going to start squeezing it along the border. Yep. And go all the way around. Now, are these, these pastry bags you're using? These are pastry they bags. Are pastry yep, bags. again, okay. find it at the craft store. Yep. Okay. All right, so we're just going to kind of fill. Yep, you're going to fill all this in. Anyway, I'm just making sure I'm not doing it. Now, will we spread this out afterwards, or am yeah. I just going to fill it in? That's like what this is for. You're going to use your scribe when you're done. This is just, again, craft store. Yep. And you just kind of move it all around the cookie to fill in those areas okay. that don't have too much. Um, I always suggest when you're flooding your cookie, less is more. You can always add more, but when right there's... Right, if you need to. Yeah, when there's too much, it can kind of be disastrous. Got so. It and then you'll have to start over. Okay. So that's all you do. Okay, now, now, now folks who are watching, if they want to order cookies from you, they can. How do they go about doing that? They just go on my website, mm -hmm. www.sugarrushcookiecode.com, and I usually have like pre-orders all set where you can see exactly what I'm offering for that season. Right. But I also do custom designs for birthday parties, bridal showers, baby showers. So if so somebody, wants to, wants, somebody wants to order them from you, they they can? Yeah, they, they absolutely can. All they right. just reach out to me, and I will, I will come up with something that will make you happy. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. So that's the tree. We're going to let that go. Yep. Now, um, my favorite one is actually, we're going to use the white. My favorite one is a snowflake. Yep. The snowflake is really easy and just really versatile. You can really do anything with it. So we're going to start with the white and we're going to go from end to end. We might have to squeeze some of that out. So we're just going to drag it across like that from one corner to the next. To the next? Yeah. And I think what's great about the snowflakes is that you can really make a beautiful cookie with not a lot of icing. So it's kind of, it's good for that person who really doesn't like too much Right, sweetness. too much stuff. And then I can yeah. just, can I then just take this stuff here and just sprinkle it on? Yeah. Or okay. what you can do is with this little thing right here, yep. 
Um, this is just sanding sugar. Oh, and just you dump it in? Yeah, you can just kind of like oh, tap wow. it, so and it gives it that shimmer. That sparkle. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks yeah. so much for coming in Thank tonight. Thank you so much for having oh, me. Oh, great. So you can make these uh, these cookies at home with your kids, and if you would like more information on how to do it, you can head on over <laughs> to our website, roadshow.com. Not bad.